Oh, I can see it just fine. Hey guys, I am here with your Bible reading. Hi Sandy, hi Rosie. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Sandy, I hope you had a good night at work last night. I was up early this morning. I thought you would be on the computer. I was going to talk to you. I was up at like, I think it was like 7 o'clock. And then I went back to bed and Cindy's like, I seen Sandy on here 11 minutes ago. I'm like, crap, I just missed her then. Because I had just went back to bed when you was getting on, I guess. All right, sure, everyone, if you'd like to follow along today, we'll be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 4, all of chapter 4 today. Sure, you sat there. Guys, you said, if you'd like to follow along with our psalm, we'll be reading Psalm 30 today. All of Psalm 30, which has 12 verses. Let me know when you're set. today is Proverbs chapter 20 verses 28 through 30. Ready? All right guys, let's begin. The nature of true apostleship This then is how you ought to regard us, as servants of Christ, and as those entrusted with the mysteries God has revealed. Now it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. I care very little if I am judged by you or by any human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. My conscience is clear, but that does not make me innocent. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, judge nothing before the appointed time. Wait until the Lord comes. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of the heart. At that time, each will receive their praise from God. Now, brothers and sisters, I have applied these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit, so that you may learn from us the meaning of the saying, Do not go beyond what is written. Then you will not be puffed up in being a follower of one of us over against the other. For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. You have begun to reign, and that without us. How I wish that you really had begun to reign so that we also might reign with you. For it seems to me that God has put us apostles on display at the end of the procession like those condemned to die in the arena. We have been made a spectacle to the whole universe, to angels as well as to human beings. We are fools for Christ, but you are no wise in Christ. But you are so wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are honored, we are dishonored. To this very hour we go hungry and thirsty. We are in rags. We are brutally treated. We are homeless. We work hard with our own hands. When we are cursed, we bless. When we are persecuted, we endure it. When we are slandered, we answer kindly. 
We have become the scum of the earth, the garbage of the world, right up to this moment. We're ending chapter 4 with pause of pill and warning. I am writing this not to shame you, but to warn you, as my dear children, even if you had 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For, for in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I have sent to you Timothy, my son, whom I believe is faithful to the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. Some of you have become arrogant, as if I were not coming to you, but I will come to you very soon, if the Lord is willing, and then I will find not only how these arrogant people were talking, but what will find out only how these arrogant people are talking, but with power they have. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. What do you prefer? Shall I come to you with a rod of discipline? Or shall I come in love with a gentle spirit? And that was 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Which would you rather come? With a rod of discipline? Or with a kind and gentle spirit? In love. Psalm 30 is our psalm today. A psalm, a psalm for the dedication of the temple of David. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead you spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you, his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my welling into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. And that was Psalm 30, a psalm, a psalm, the dedication of the temple of David. In our Proverbs today, Proverbs chapter 20, verses 28 through 30. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love, his throne is made secure. The glory of young men is their strength. Gray hair, the splendor of the old. Wisdom pairs. Blows and wounds scrub away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. Alright guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Let's close the computer now and go to our prayer request. If you want to get your prayer request books out, or your piece of paper, whatever you use. I was going to get me a big binder because I saw the most pretty hot pink binder that they had on sale for school stuff, but I'm running low on money now, so and I was going to get some, you know, loose leaf paper and put in it and have a big binder because it was so pretty and hot pink, but 
I'm not going to get back to the store. Like I said, I'm running low. Still going to buy toilet paper and all that fun stuff. All right, what color am I going to use today, April? Purple. Sherm sure says purple, so we'll use purple. All right. What's April? Not me. We need to keep Sandy in our prayers. She went back to work last night. So we want to keep her in our prayers so she has a good work environment when she goes back to work tonight. We want to pray for April and Linda Thacker. We want to pray for Eric. He needs a kidney. We want to pray for Macy. She's got a brain tumor. We want to pray for Kenny Wellman. He needs a kidney. We want to pray, pray for Sherman Crabtree. He needs his medicine filled, and our doctor is off on vacation, so I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. I called today, and they said they'd call back in the morning. And um, Sherman also is having his trouble with his sore throat still, and he can't get in until she's back from vacation, which will be a couple weeks. Please keep Cindy Welsh in prayer. She's still healing from her surgery. Please keep Rhonda Karshner in prayer. Got a lot going on right now with Jimmy and everything. Please keep Christopher Surback in prayer. He's supposed to be coming to stay with Abby for a while tonight. He's, they're picking him up tonight to stay. I don't know how long he's staying. But please keep Abby Myers in your prayers. Please keep Jimmy Myers in your prayers. He really, really needs them. You guys know what's going on with him, I told you. He's only 15 and that boy shouldn't be going through what he's going through. They're really messing with his mind, his mom is. And please keep him in your prayers that he stays safe and gets to get out of that situation and gets to go live with his grandma and sister where he is loved and safe and fed and everything else that a kid should be. Please keep Matt Nichols in your prayers. He's in prison. Please keep Shannon and her dear little son Giovanni in your prayers. He is suffering from a horrible illness. He really needs God's healing touch. Please keep Donald and Kathy Keller in your prayers. I haven't heard from them and seen them on Facebook, and that's not right. I don't know if they lost their internet again or what, but please keep them in prayer. Hopefully everything's okay with them. Please keep Roy and Lori Mollett in your prayers. Please keep Barb Post in your prayers. Joe Osborne, that he gets back on the right track, and that's going to take a lot of prayer to do that. Please keep Debbie Lee in your prayers. Please keep Tammy Ashworth in your prayers. Randy Post, Jody Mahorder, and Ronnie Mahorder. Please keep my cousin Jules' friend Brenda in your prayers. She is in the James Cancer Hospital with cancer on her liver. Please keep Zach in your prayers. He's got a brain injury and needs prayers just to be able to swallow and talk again. Please keep Sarah Gillum in your prayers. She's having trouble with some kind of illness right now. Please keep Mindy Gallimore in your prayers. She really needs God in her life. That's Jimmy's mom. Please let her do what's right for Jimmy and let him go where it's safe instead of worrying about money and herself. And please pray that she gets God in her life, not fakely, like she pretends to, just for attention. That she gets God in her life for real. And please keep my dear friend and sister in Christ, Angela's dad, in your prayers. He's 80 years old and had eye surgery. Please pray for his eyes to get better. And that is our prayer request for today. So we're going to go over to Sherm now. Remember, this was a joke, a joke question last night that I asked you guys. So the question I asked you guys last night was, Why was Moses the most wicked man? Why was Moses the most, most wicked man? And the answer you should have came up with was, he broke all Ten Commandments at once. Because he broke all Ten Commandments at once. 
Remember when he came down off the mountain with the Ten Commandments and the Israelites, the Hebrews, thought that he was not coming back and they built a golden calf to worship and Moses got mad and threw the Ten Commandments down and broke them because he was so angry. He broke all Ten Commandments at once. Get it? <laughs> so uh, now Sherman's going to go to your question for today. I don't know what it is because he picked it out himself today again. So your homework question for tonight is... What animal could Noah not trust? Another funny question. What animal could Noah not trust? All right, guys, see what answer you come up with for that. And remember, it's another joke question, so see what you can come up with. Is what animal could Noah not trust? All right, so let's end in prayer and we'll be done for the day. Brother Jesus and Father, please watch over everyone watching this Bible reading. Please let it have touched their hearts. Please let them all have a wonderful day. Please let them fill in their hearts to pray for Jimmy that he gets to stay with mom and dad, where he is protected and safe and loved and fed and taken care of like every kid should be, like every person should be. Please be with him, Father. Please protect him. If he has to go put back home, please be with him every step of the way and let him get out of that situation and get to go back with mom and Abby. I know you know what's best for him, Father. And we trust you 100%. Please be a Sandy and let her have a good work environment. Let her have a good night at work when she goes to work tonight. Please be with Eric and let him get a kidney and Macy and take away her brain tumor. Please let Kenny get the kidney that he needs. Please heal little Giovanni from his horrible illness. Please be with his mom. Please touch Sherm's throat and take his sore throat and pain in his tongue away. Please let the doctor be able to call his medicine in. Please be with Cindy Welsh and continue to heal her. Please don't let her get infection. Please be with Abby and Myers and Rhonda Karshner as they're going through a lot of hard time right now, you know, with the whole situation. Please be with Christopher Surback and let him and Abby have a good time. And Please be with everyone on our prayer list, Brother Jesus and Father. I love you. We love you, Brother Jesus and Father. I love you, Brother Jesus and Father, with all my heart and soul. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Well, that was everything. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. That's about ready to say weekend again. It's the start of the week. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Monday fun day. Everybody's going to throw tomatoes at me for saying that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.